Hello, my name's Scott Perry. I'm a professional magician, and this is a magic review. It's a kind of magic. In today's review, we're looking at Bangarang by Nicholas Lawrence. I didn't think I was going to say this, but I recommend everyone buys this. Literally everyone. Mentalists, close-up magicians, card magicians, other performers and magicians, street performers. This is brilliant for absolutely everyone. I'll explain throughout the review why I think that and also in some of the final thoughts at the end, but that's my TLDR. It's such a great trick. Hats off for Nicholas for creating an, an amazing product to kick off 2024. But what is it? What is Bangarang? Bangarang is an effect, uh, essentially a really hyper visual sandwich effect. So you have two jokers, they both have holes cut in the middle of them and a card visually appears in between them and then you can very fairly show it both sides before it very fairly again disappears. That's essentially what the effect is. There is some routining around it, but that's what you're buying. What do you get with Bangarang? You get this little box, you get this little envelope with three cards. One of them is gimmicked and two of them are just ordinary cards. And you also receive a little card with the link to the downloadable instructions. The instructions are roughly 30 minutes long. Nicholas makes them very comprehensive and includes everything in them, from repairing the gimmicked card to adjusting it, to changing it slightly. Uh, basically anything you could want to know or need to know, he covers it in the instructions. That's pretty much everything. I am going to also touch on what you get kind of in the final thoughts so do stick around for that as well but that's what you receive when you first open up bangarang two jokers regular jokers with a cutout one gimmicked card and the instructions how easy is it to perform i would say that this is an intermediate skill level the trick itself is very very easy and anyone can perform it but some of the handling in it and the way that you will integrate this into effects and routines is what's going to be the difficult thing. So to make it appear, if you're performing it on social media, very easy to do, anyone can do it. If you're going to use it in a working scenario, you will have to put in some practice for the handling for it. So the skill to do it for video is very easy and very low. The skill to perform it in the real world is an intermediate level, in my opinion. I just want to interrupt this review for a second. If you find my reviews helpful and if they help you make a purchase or decide not to purchase and save you money, please do support this channel. The more support this channel gets, the more subscribers we get, the more people who interact with the channel, the more reviews I'm going to be able to do and the more I'm going to be able to help you. I'm trying to do these reviews to help the magic community and help people like you because there are a lot of reviewers who talk absolute nonsense. So if you do enjoy this channel and you do find my content useful, then please do share, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate everything everyone does for this channel. Back to the review. Reset time is pretty much instant. The way that the routine is structured and the way that the gimmick works, it is, it, you end how you started, basically. So. There's nothing more to say that on the reset time, it's a, a, an instant reset and it is repeatable every single group of people that you, you might be performing for. However, it is the same card, but we'll touch on that in the final thoughts as well. Overall, the, the reset time is extremely fast. I don't know why I said extremely fast, it's instant. The angles on Bangarang are pretty good. The, the optimal performing situation would be performing to people in front of you, but you can have people on your sides, you can have people potentially even on your extreme sides. So the, the performing angles are, are fantastic for Bangarang. There's a couple of bits that you'll have to keep an eye on with people immediately behind you, but overall, I don't think there's many situations that, that will restrict you from performing this. It's very adaptable for most, if not all, performance situations. Pocket space is as good as everything else about this effect. 
it's just a few cards that's it you can keep it in a wallet you can keep it in a himba wallet you can keep it in a packet trick you can keep it in in your card box wherever you want to keep it you can keep it the pocket space is simply as thick as three playing cards now to my final thoughts on bangarang one of the reasons why i think this is a trick for everyone absolutely every single kind of performer is because the two jokers that you get included are completely normal ungimmicked they just have a hole punch through them but you don't have to perform this with playing cards in terms of the jokers you could potentially adapt this to use uh, business cards if your business cards are, are the same size and shape as a playing card you could also adapt the gimmick whilst nicholas doesn't teach you exactly how to make the gimmick card only teaches you how to repair it anyone with a little bit of experience in gimmick making will be able to make these maybe not as well as lawrence does but you will be able to make them. They're quite a simple gimmick, although meticulous to create. You can adapt them to lots of things. So it doesn't have to be bicycle cards. You can use any jokers from any pack of cards. As I say, the, the possibility of using a business card, you have possibilities of using things like credit cards for corporate magicians. There's lots of possibilities utilizing this idea. And on top of that, Nicholas also teaches four or five or maybe even six ways to make the card appear and vanish, uh, which is great. There's lots of different handlings included. He also touches on a few of the basic sleight of hand that you'll need to get the card selected in the routine as a whole as well. He also teaches you another gimmick to make that makes it really easy to get someone to select a card, which brings me to probably my final thought, the fact that it is the same card every time. But you can make more if you didn't want it to be the Queen of Hearts that it comes with. So you can make it to any card. I think the final, final thought is it will wear out eventually. It's going to last a little while, I think. There are a few things that you will need, but Nicholas does explain everything that you need, every other gimmick making product that you need to make these. And they're not that expensive. And he says the exact name so you can Google where to find them in your local city country, town, wherever you may be living. I think that was my final, final thought. As I say, I recommend this for everyone. Go out and buy a copy. Not only is it an amazing trick to perform with, it's also an amazingly fun trick to practice for social media influencers, for people performing in real world, for corporate magicians, for mentalists, absolutely everyone. I'm going to stop gushing now. Go out, buy your copy, and hopefully this review convinced you to spend your money wisely. And I really hope that you love Bangarang as much as I do. That's the review for today. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next review.